So in this video, I'm going to show you a way of capturing a serial data stream using an analog oscilloscope. The oscilloscope I'm going to be using is a BK Precision model number 2125. It's capable of measuring 20 megahertz. So it's quite good at measuring a repeating signal. This is something I've generated from my function generator. So I can zoom out using the time base knob here. And I can zoom in pretty far so you can really see that rise time on that square wave. Now let's say you have a signal that repeats but it does not repeat periodically like it would with a normal sinusoidal waveform or a square wave. It repeats as data does. And here's how that type of data would appear on the oscilloscope. It doesn't look like much right now. And a way to get a clean signal is first adjust the volts per division. So you have a larger signal on the screen. And then adjust the trigger hold off time. On this oscilloscope you pull out the knob to enable that. And now you'll need to adjust The trigger level so it stops shaking. So once the signal starts looking like this you can adjust the time base so you get more of that signal on the screen and then pull out the times 10 on the exposition. And then scroll all the way over turning the knob clockwise until you see your first signal here and then you can start to decipher the binary transmission so you have high low low high low low high low low high, low, low, high, high, low, high, low, low, high, low, low, and so on. And if you need to capture a truly non-repeating data stream, this is what you would need to do. Here is my instructional manual for the oscilloscope I have. I printed this up from a PDF I found on the internet. I'm sure you could find one for yours as well, which I recommend doing. It's quite useful to have. On the back of my oscilloscope I have two BNC connections. One is for the external trigger and one is channel 1 output. And according to this, the output amplitude is 50 millivolts per division. So 8 times 0 0.05 is equal to 0.4. So that's a comfortable range a voltage for the line in on your PC so you are capable of recording that signal with the line in on your PC. So all you need to do in order to do that is get a BNC connector and a headphone jack. And depending on how far away your oscilloscope is from your PC, a BNC cable. I also recommend using a T-connector with a 50 ohm terminator. So you take this and attach it to the back of your oscilloscope at the channel 1 output. There's the oscilloscope and I have the cable running over to my PC. And here's my adapter cable, so BNC to headphone jack. And that connects to the line in on my computer. You want to open up Audacity. and make sure that you have the line in selected as your recording device press the record button and now you're recording the signal that your 
oscilloscope is outputting from channel 1. Now just go enable the signal. And press stop. And now you can analyze that serial data stream, provided that the frequency is low enough for your sound card to capture.